a vibrar São papoilas Só a ti Hey guys, it's your boy Slow. Welcome to another episode of Benfica Career Mode. Uh, so today we're going to be playing a Sporting Lisbon, which is a game that you've just watched. And unfortunately, Benfica lost 3-0. That's really disappointing, especially as it was at home. But I'm not going to let that happen in my game. Uh, so yes, Benfica lost 3-0. My prediction... Uh, it wasn't me, I didn't predict it because, to be fair, I was going to predict that Benfica would win that match but it was the FIFA 16 AI prediction uh, was not 3-0, sorry, 4-0 to Sporting so it wasn't that far off, how weird is that? Um, but yeah, so today we're playing against Sporting in my career mode and I'm not going to let that happen uh, so yeah, let's get straight to the start of the match and uh, hopefully we can beat them. Maybe by 3-0 as well. That would be awesome if we could score as many against them as they scored against us um, in the Liga Noche. So here we are playing away against Sporting uh, at the World Stadium, which is the exact same stadium that we play in, uh, because EA can't get their arse in gear and put the Portuguese stadiums in. Hopefully they'll do it for next season. We never know. Uh, they need a lot of improvements to this game. Uh, but yeah... Um, we're getting towards, I think, uh, October or November in this game, so it's getting close to the um, to the transfer window. So, guys, keep leaving your comments, keep leaving leaving some tips for me as to players that I should buy. Uh, something will happen in this game that might require me to buy another player in January, uh, but I'll let you see that for yourself. And uh, yeah, we're only a few points behind Sporting. If we beat them, we'll go uh, close. I think we'll be behind them one point. Uh, so yeah, a really crucial match against a really crucial team, and especially since we lost against them 3-0, I want to beat them even more. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the highlights. Thank you for all the comments, there's uh, been a few guys leaving comments lately. Uh, I really appreciate all of your comments and stuff like that. Uh, let me just read out some comments. Um, uh, we had comments from William Taylor, Christian Fighter, João Amri, and uh, Electrix. You've been leaving a lot of comments, thank you very much man. Um, and William Taylor has been giving me some hints. He told me to get El Shawari in January. So if I can afford him, I will. Anyway, let's jump straight to the highlights and hope that we can beat Sporting. And yes, it's 30 minutes into the game and we still haven't had a shot either way. Uh, but now it's Benfica's turn with Samaras with a possession. Mitroglu picks it up. Tarapt has a shot. What a beautiful left-footed shot there. He can't get to it and we can't keep the ball in. It goes out for a goal kick. But yeah, 32 minutes into the game and we've had one shot. Sporting currently with nothing. Uh, they've been holding the ball mainly in the midfield. And we've just been struggling to get it off them. As you know, uh, teams play a lot like Barcelona in this game. They hold a lot of possession. And uh, it's just a ball lick to take the ball off them. Um, but yeah, there's not going to be many occasions in this game. As uh, if you've played... Uh, FIFA 16 or you play FIFA 16 you know what it's like and uh, yeah the goalkeeper nearly messed up there if you saw that little highlight there uh, but yeah all we can do is try and get these small chances when we can and try and get a goal uh, that's all I can do uh, against a team like Sporting so so far as you can tell it's a really terrible match we've hardly had any of the possession uh, we had the best chance in the game which was that left footed shot from Terapt Sporting had a few half chances, but they weren't even worth showing. Uh, but it means that we need to make some changes at half time. And I think Pitsy's going to have to come out for Taliska uh, to add some pace and uh, some possession in that CAM position. Uh, and uh, the left back, Elise, is going to go in. Uh, Mendy is a bit tired there, or more tired than he usually is. And yeah, let's see if Taliska can add anything to this game. I'm usually quite lucky with substitutions. They usually come out and score. So yeah, let's hope for a better second half. So the second half has been a lot livelier with Montero taking the possession here. He's got a lot of pace in real life, this guy. Not as good this year as he was last year. Slimani now with a right-footed shot, uh, wide off the far post. But yeah, strong start there from Sporting. And uh, yeah, they just didn't have the accuracy. That's something that's happening to me as well. Uh, if you've been watching the PSG career mode, I have mentioned it before, uh, that I'm getting quite a few chances, but not putting them away or getting the accuracy wrong. And uh, in this game in particular, we, I'm not actually getting any chances at all. Uh, but Campbell now with a nice pass there to Terapt. Can he go round? It's Raul Jimenez. Um, Lizil on the left-hand side. Can he cross it in? 
Can he cross it in? What's going to come out of this? A nice pass there. And who was that? It was Tarapt, I think, puts the ball in the back of the net. I wasn't expecting that watching it, actually. I didn't know that this was going to happen now. Uh, but Tarapt with a nice reaction there. Uh, Elizil with a nice little run there. No, uh, nice crossing. He's just come in. I've been using Mendy. And, uh, yeah, I'm surprised at how well Elizil's come in, created the assist, and Tarapt put it into the back of the net. Uh, Tarapt is also a player that's been missing from the team. I've been putting uh, Gedge in his place. So, yeah, welcome back for both these players. Great goal. It's now Benfica 1, Sporting 0. I always say this the wrong way around. It's the other way around. It's Sporting 0, Benfica 1, Adel Tarapt. Great goal. Great assist from uh, Ilizil. And, yeah, hopefully we'll get the 2 and the 3. And remember earlier on when I said that I might need to get a new player uh, in the January transfer window? And this is why you're about to see it. Look what happens. Samido goes on the ground. He's injured. And I'll tell you now, I won't wait till the end because I probably won't show the, uh, the email anyway. But he's going to be out for three months with a broken leg. Unbelievable. Uh, I don't think I've got another right back if I do. He's a really low rated one. So I've decided to put Lopez on the right uh, back position because he's a lot faster than Luis Ong. I don't really know why I didn't have Luis Ong in. But that's really disappointing. An up-and-coming player does not have, or does not need to have an injury at this point in his career, especially a broken leg that could absolutely ruin him and his progression also. Uh, so that's three players out for months now. It's Jonas Smirvu, and I can't uh, I can't remember who the third one was. Um, but yeah, disappointing run so far. <laughs> After a goal, we get bad news like that. Uh, but anyway, let's just try and score more goals. Maybe it will make me happier. Jimenez with some pace down the left-hand side. Samaras picks it up. Taliska sees Mitroglu. He takes a brilliant left-footed shot. It was like a bullet. And uh, Rui Patricio saved that quite well. Uh, so close to scoring a goal. It's gone out for a corner. Great shot there from Mitroglu, trying to get that second goal, uh, but unlucky we didn't get it in. And now it's Campbell with the corner. Not usually Campbell, it's Taliska. The ball drops, we can't get anyone to it. A shot there from Taliska, well uh, over the bar there. Uh, but yeah, we're showing signs of scoring a second goal. Let's hope we can do it. And now we have to fend off a sporting attack. The defence is all over the place. Brian Ruiz loses the ball there, but takes another shot, and it goes over the bar there. I wasn't expecting him to take the the ball straight off our defender. I don't know if it was David Luiz or whatever. Uh, but yeah, and now it's time for Benfica to go on the attack. And it's Raul Jimenez with a nice run down the left-hand side, passing it to Taliska. Uh, they're going to try and defend this. Can they get the ball off us? Yes, they can. They try and clear it, but Elise was there. He's been brilliant for us today. And Tarat is going to take another left-footed shot. Nice bullet there, straight to Rui Patricio. It's a comfortable save, but Tarat's on the ball today. So I might start using him a bit more. Uh, yeah. And now it's Joel Campbell passing it to Samaras. Joel Campbell making a run down the middle again, trying to receive it. And now it's his turn to take a left-footed shot. It was curling in. I thought that was going to go in. Uh, but yeah, Joel Campbell, another player that isn't doing as well as he did uh, when he first started. He played really well in his first couple of matches. I think he scored two in his first... Um in his first match for Benfica, since then he hasn't scored anything or really created anything. Uh, so I'm just waiting for Salvio to come back in real life so that we can uh, yeah, use Salvio. Nice shot there, by the way. Julio says uh, saving it literally 88 minutes into the game. I hope that we don't concede now. This would be disastrous. Uh, let's see if we can clear it. We do. Raul Jimenez smashes the ball away. And now it's Mitroglu hoping... Uh, to go one on one with the goalkeeper but he doesn't have the stamina and he's caught up by the defender and he also gets a free kick right at the end of the match here and that's the end of the match guys it wasn't the best match in the world but we got the goal and the three points and it was to wrap with Ellie Hill two players that you don't normally play so maybe I should start playing them and uh, let me know guys should I play uh, to wrap and uh, Ellie Hill um, yeah, your feedback is always appreciated. There you go, six shots, three on target. They had four zero on target, which is something that always happens uh, for, to my opponents. Uh, but anyway, we're going to be playing Manchester United next in the next episode, obviously, for the Champions League. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, now you're going to see the, the injury. It's three months. I might just skip this. Uh, but yeah, let's go and see the... Oh, I've got an offer from Canada. There's no way I'm ever going to accept that. Um, but yeah, let's go and see the table and see where we are. I think we're just one point behind uh, Sporting Lisbon now. So there we are, fellas. We're in third place now. Only one point behind Sporting. Uh, look at that table, though. 25, 24, 23, and then Nacional with 17. It's very close. I'm still confident of winning the league. 
and uh, getting as far as possible in the Champions League as well. Man United is going to be a tough opponent. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you for watching. It's the end of the episode. Uh, please leave a like and lots of comments. I love comments and I love responding to them. As you may see, I do respond to most of them. And yeah, um, thank you very much to what for watching. Sorry, and uh, subscribe if you enjoyed it as well. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much. Goodbye.